So um, I'm gonna talk about my project over the summer and the basic gist of it. Initially, I proposed it because um, I'm kind of uh, a, a PhD student that's working in quantum error correction. And the basic idea that I usually work with is you want to try to correct some form of an error that has occurred. And there are some cases where the error is correctable. And that's when uh, operation can be written, or this evolution of row prime can be written in terms of this these error operators. So in that case, you know that the error can be corrected. But in order to correct the errors, the thing is you do have to be able to implement it in a circuit. And before I proposed this project for Q-tip, actually, uh, I did look around and. Uh, I know there are a lot of functionalities where they do uh, decompose the error operators, but usually they don't give you the option uh, in terms of, say, you want to optimize for some specific gate or, say, you want to optimize for, uh, like, some specific architecture of the device itself and so on. So this was my intention to kind of, uh, like, propose this module itself. And, again, like, the error operators, those will be D by D, and it's like two raised to N is the dimension of the error operator itself. And the um, e quantum gate can be approximated up to some accuracy if you have uh, use a particular gate set called a Clifford plus T set. So Clifford uh, gate set is usually the poly matrices X, Y, Z. Uh, all of those matrices associated with them. And the T gate is the what I like to call the partial phase. And this one is usually kept separate because of uh, issues with uh, architecture, especially when it's a transversal device or transversal qubit. Depending on which kind of combination or which kind of gate you're using, you can kind of optimize the device or the decomposition. So here you see kind of a, like a Toffoli gate, which I think I lifted this from Nielsen and Chuang. And typically what you have is say, these couple of Hadamards and then Toffoli's and then c naught combinations. But suppose there's an, uh, like the device I'm using, it's, uh, a lot more difficult to be able to say uh, use the T gates. So in that case, uh, there's a scheme that's available that can kind of decompose your Toffoli using Ancillas, but with like like just one layer of the T gates instead of say these three layers themselves. And I wanted to like uh, be able to do that, and that's the end goal of this Q-tip decomposition module in the end, but we'll talk about uh, like the issues I faced about this towards the end as well. It was just basically a uh, bad planning on my part. So um, like I said, uh, typically like what I want to do with this module is to be able to decompose the unitary they, with given options with Ancilla qubits, without Ancillas, and least number of gates. I know this is available in, in a lot of other available softwares as well. They optimize for the lowest number of gates, but other options might not be available as much. So, um, and the method I chose was to be able to decompose the D by D unitary into a description of two level unitaries. And the two level unitaries would be further decomposed into uh, single qubit unitaries. And you can kind of see on the right this table, as the number of qubits increases, like the number of two level gates needed also rises. And that means that the single number uh, or the single qubit unitaries will also increase in the same manner. And I think I'm almost like running out of time pretty much, I guess. So I will rush a bit as well. 
And um, so like one thing or like one portion of my proposed project that I was able to com uh, complete was the single qubit decomposition scheme where you can describe a single qubit unitary in terms of say, um, like a product of single qubit rotation gates. So some of the combinations I, like those are possible in Qtip right now. Yeah. And this is like just some random unitary I chose. And what, I, what I'm trying to like show here is I want to decompose that into a product of say, patient gates along the Z axis and the Y axis. And it's possible to do that right now in Qtip. And another possibility is the ZXZ combination. So it's like patient gates Z, I, X, and Z, and then some phase as well. There are some other combinations that are also possible, but I, finished that yet as well. Going back to my previous uh, slide, when I was talking about the number of gates needed for a two level, the number of gates needed for decomposing, say, a, a qubit, and number of qubit gate is, for two qubits, this is like an example circuit. So each of these blocks, those are all like the two level gates, and I, do you want to be able to implement like a circuit like this, hopefully sometime soon, when I complete the module and I'm gonna just rush, skip through a slides. Actually, no. Uva, I think it's it's okay if we are a couple of minutes over time, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's nice to, okay. to listen. Okay, so um, thanks Nathan. So this is an example for like a two qubit gate, but for a larger number of qubits, what happens is uh, you also have to think about decomposing a uh, bit tofoli. So here it's like a five qubit gate or a five qubit two level gate where those four are the controls and the last gate is the target. And the issue with this is like when I decompose it, there are two possibilities. Uh, I can decompose it using ancillas or without ancillas. And there also you have to think about how the Toffoli or the end bit Toffoli gets decomposed as well. So um, one thing that's going to be possible in the future sometime soon is to be able to decompose this multi-qubit uh, controlled unitary into this form where uh, the ABCs are just the single qubit decomposition uh, descriptions. And again, here you have to think about how this Toffoli will also, and the Toffoli will again be decomposed. And here there's a possibility that you can decompose it via recursion or um, what you can do is you can use ancillary qubits and then there's a further decomposition of this three bit Toffoli into say the Haramad, C naught and single qubit gates as well. So that, that's an additional option that will be added soon to Qtip. And uh, just to conclude, uh, like I was saying, like my planning was, like how I planned the general decomposition module was not that well planned because uh, looking at the size of the arrays, I, I was not able to define the things properly, but uh, that's what I am working on right now. And once this uh, general scheme does get introduced, then I like what I want to plan is to add some optimization schemes. Like I was talking about earlier, uh, like the least number of gates is uh, like one default scheme and for all the available software out there. But then I, what I want to actually look for is say the least number of T gates or maybe the least number of C naught gates. And those are some things that will be added soon. And I want to conclude with thanking my mentors over the summer. And I am open for questions and comments. Sorry, I think I'm a bit over, but. Oh, that's, that's, thank you for that, was, that was, that was great.